Something that was minted by the uh, Institute for Knowledge of the Temple, and it has a picture of King Cyrus in the background, who was very influential in the rebuilding of the temple, the second temple. It has President Trump in the foreground, and on the back, it has a picture of the temple itself. We hope that the declarations of both Cyrus and Trump will lead to the rebuilding of the third temple. When is the building? Very soon. <laughs> We've already started. And, uh, yeah. This is an incredible biblical prophecy moment because when you start talking about the building of the third temple, a few years ago, this was something that was just whispered. You didn't dare mention building a third temple for fear that the Islamic world surrounding uh, the nation of Israel would react in an unbelievable uh, negative way. Today, that's not the case. It's a, it's a foregone conclusion that this third temple is going to be built. As a matter of fact, I knew that anyway by reading the scriptures in the Bible. It tells you that, the, that one day people from every nation will converge upon Jerusalem to worship the king and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. And so uh, it's unbelievable here what folks, uh, Israel in its 70th year as a nation, President Donald Trump declaring Jerusalem the capital of Israel, and then of course moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem and dedicating it on May 14th, 2018, the 70th anniversary of the establishment of Israel as a nation. Then, if that wasn't enough, we had the longest blood moon of the century directly over Jerusalem. And then the red heifers were born. The red heifer was born on August the 28th. The, the longest blood moon of the century was on July 27th. Then the heifers born about a month later on August 28th and has been confirmed by the Sanhedrin to qualify as the red heifer for the dedication of the third temple, the ashes of the heifer. And now they're dedicating today, on December the 10th, 2018, dedication of the stone altar, which will be in the third temple. Let me show you now, here's some uh, photographs from the actual ceremony. And uh, matter of fact, we might just uh, go and show you some of that footage right now. עכשיו יש את מצוות ההולכה, שגם את זה עושים בברכה, כל הכהנים, לפי הסדר, מוליכים את האיברים לכבש. הראשון בראש וברגל, השני בימינו וחותמו כלפי זרועו, וקרניו בין אצבעותיו, ובית שחיטה למעלה, והפדר עליה, רגל ימין ביד שמאלו, ובית תורה לחוץ. השני, בשתי הידיים של ימין בימינו, ושל שמאל בשמאלו, ובית תורן לחוץ. השלישי בעוקץ וברגל, העוקץ בימינו והרגל של שמאלו בשמאלו ובית תורן לחוץ. הרביעי בחזה ובגירה, החזה בימינו והגירה בשמאלו וצלעותה בין אצבעותיה, בין אצבעותיו. אלה הנסכים, היין כל אחד מעלה את האבר שזכה בו לכבש ומניח אותו מחצי כבש ולמטה במערבו.
Pax America, Americana, we know we are in a Zaman. And very soon, very soon, Dajjal is going to appear in person, ruling the world from Jerusalem and declaring that I am the Messiah. However, this is not the end of history. The Jews will say this is the end of history. The Christians are going to wake up and rub their eyes. The ones who are deceived by Europe. And they say, but wait a minute. This fellow there in Jerusalem who says he's the Messiah. Boy, he is not the son of Mary. Huh? The Messiah who is to come back is the son of Mary. This fellow is not the son of Mary. This is not Jesus. It seems as though we were taken for a ride. <laughs> Are we telling them that now if they're listening to the lecture? You've been taken for a ride. This is not the Messiah. This is Dajjal, the false Messiah. And this is not the end of history. The Jews are celebrating, but this is not the end of history. History will now end when the true Messiah comes back. Some, some key things have to happen for the messianic figure in Jewish in the Jewish mindset for the Messiah to arrive you can't think of him like we think of Messiah we think of Messiah after the model of Jesus he's the son of God divine birth all of that that's not the way the Jews look at the Messiah they're looking for a king they're looking for a political leader as a matter of fact Messiah to them means the anointed one and it goes back to the ancient days when they would anoint a king and recognize him as this is the man that God sent <laughs> In more centuries, in Jerusalem, the Maccabees rededicated that temple, rededicated that temple, and restored Jewish sovereignty in this land. And it was here in Jerusalem, some 2,000 years later, that the soldiers of Israel spoke three immortal words, Hal Habayt Biadenu. The Temple Mount is in our hands. The Temple Mount is in our hands. Is in our hands. Good morning, New York City. It is such a beautiful September day today. Although Midtowners, heads up, traffic is going to be bad. Here's why. That's right, a lot of world leaders in town. We've got President Putin, uh, the Pope is gonna be in town. So roads are gonna be closed off on short notice. Make sure you have a couple different ways to get to work. I am committed to trying to achieve a peace agreement between the Israelis and the Palestinians. The president believes forging a historic peace agreement is possible and believes his son-in-law is especially fit to achieve it. He is so great. If you can't produce peace in the Middle East, nobody can. This is a historic moment for humanity. We are about to turn this planet into a paradise where each delegate is given complete control over his respective area. True global community, a true world of peace. This marks the beginning of our seven years. of the rise of the Antichrist. He will control ten kingdoms, which in turn will control the world. The Antichrist
Christ will sit in the temple of God and he will declare to the whole world that he is God. Upon each of you, I grant all the power and authority due to your new positions. You are now kings in your own lands, bringing prosperity and plenty. American Embassy to the eternal capital of the Jewish people, Jerusalem. I think President Trump has made history. This will be remembered the way we remember the Cyrus Declaration uh, from 2,500 years ago when he uh, told the exiles of Babylon you can go back and rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. This is a historic moment and we will always remember said that the generation that is alive that witnesses the rebirth of the nation of Israel the leaves returning to the fig tree will be the generation that sees the coming of the Son of Man we are that generation the time is at hand